Many films and novels can be a great means of understanding and applying ethical theories and thinking through complex moral situations. The ethical theories consist of virtue ethics, deontology, utilitarianism, hedonism, existentialism, and many more. Before we dive into analyzing the characters and the frameworks in Sophie's Choice, let me give you a brief plot summary. The film is set in 1947 and is narrated by a writer who moved from the South to Brooklyn named Stingo. In the film, Stingo becomes best friends with Sophie and Nathan, who each possess one of the ethical frameworks. This friendship, linked with the plot, unravels the many problems that Sophie and Nathan faced. The story is about Sophie and her lover Nathan, and this plot eventually reveals Sophie's origin when she was in a German concentration camp and the major ethical decision she makes. In Sophie's past, she displays mostly a utilitarian view and a pinch of deontological methods towards her, the certain decisions she has to make and in the present. Nathan displays a hedonistic view towards his whole way of life. So now we will get into the analysis of frameworks. In the film, Sophie finds out that her father, who is a professor at a popular college, wants to give a speech on how the Jews in Germany should be exterminated, and then she goes to the slums and just looks at these everyday people, thinking that nobody should have to die, expressing a deontological view for this one time. Deontology is an ethical framework that focuses on the rightness or wrongness of an action, no matter what type of consequence follows. Deontologists are intent on finding the moral duties that all people in all moral situations should follow as the word deon means duty in Greek. Deontologists make their decisions based off of ironclad rules such as killing people is morally wrong and Sophie shows a deontological framework because her reasoning on why Jews shouldn't die is because the concept of murder, which is a moral wrong, played a big factor in her opinion. Go to the, the ghetto that afternoon, but something made me go there. I stood there, I don't know how long, watching these people that my father has condemned to die. For all these men, these women, these children, the Fernichtum. Extermination. Now, this next choice she makes is pretty over the top. But I want you guys to decide first in this. If you had to choose, would you let your son die or your daughter die? Now, I know this seems a little crazy, but this is in fact the choice she makes in the movie. Nehmen Sie beide Kinder weg. Das ist richtig! Lass! Nehmen Sie meine Kleine! Lass! Nehmen Sie meine Kleine! Nehmen Sie meine Kleine! Nehmen Sie das Mädchen! So we see utilitarianism in this situation, which means that a decision is moral because it benefits the majority. And we see here that she let her daughter die instead of her son because her son would probably have a better chance at surviving whatever torture tactics would be put on him. And there's essentially no ethical framework that could say that making a choice in this situation isn't moral because everyone dying isn't reasonable and doesn't make sense when it can be avoided. Okay, so now we move on to Sophie's husband, Nathan, who displays more of a hedonistic view of the choices he makes and how he acts. Hedonism is an ethical framework where an individual has to make a choice in which his slash her pleasure will be maximized and the pain will be minimized. We first see his hedonistic tendencies when he always wants a kiss from Sophie every five minutes and doesn't care to get intimate in front of anybody or anyone. Now I will show you a video of how he perfectly displays his hedonistic framework. What about the page in the typewriter? No, this is... Um, I have a... Hey, sir! <laughs> All right. Bingo! What is the worst that can happen? Before Nathan made this decision, it was made perfectly clear by Stingo that he doesn't want anybody reading this because he'll feel terribly uncomfortable. And Nathan steals the manuscript anyway 
because he wanted to see if he made like the writing. This decision shows how Nathan disregarded his friend's feelings and chose his own pleasure to read the work. The story later reveals how Nathan abuses drugs. What can I do? If he could stay off the drugs, he might have a chance. He's, what are these drugs? What is he on? Benzedrine, cocaine. You didn't know. No, I did not. His use of drugs displays hedonistic nature because he shows that he values pleasure over mentally attacking his friends. God damn you to hell forever. Nathan?